Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We're going to talk about press release distribution strategies. So in the last video, I explained a little bit about how to write the press release, uh, the 11 uh, bullet points that I, I stick to when writing a press release. In this video, I want to talk about a little bit about distribution. So there's commonly, historically, the way you release the new, uh, press release was through a newswire. And these newswires um, would put the press release on the newswire and people that would go to the newswire would be um, a journalist. So the journalist from the New York Times or USA Today or any major syndication will go to the newswire, look up the story, and write another story around that press release. These still exist. So the first place you want to distribute your uh, press release is in a, a newswire. I'll put together a list and put it underneath this video on YouTube. And have, so you guys have a baseline of understanding where to release them. Now, there's free newswires and there's paid newswires. Um, the larger the newswire, the higher the distribution meaning it shows up on more platforms. Now today in, in 2019, when I'm making this video currently, newswires are almost obsolete in the sense that journalists aren't necessarily going to the newswires anymore for stories. They're going to social media, they're going to blogs, they're going to other news channels. Um, so very little gets picked up from a newswire. If you're a public company or a private company and you're putting a newswire on PR newswire, it then becomes your job to redistribute that newswire. So a little trick that I have um, that we do at Server 2 Intelligent Relations is after you issue the press release, we syndicate it through social media channels. So these are, whether they're your own or someone else's social media channels, you wanna pump them out to gain more traction because you can't assume just because you published it on a newswire that people are gonna come read it. So after you publish it and quote unquote distribute it, which is a traditional sense, if you go to most PR agencies, they're gonna say, well, just put it on the newswire. But that's not enough. Um, we redistribute that newswire. So one way we do it is by issuing it through social media. Another way we do it is once it's on social media by running paid ads to that newswire or to that press release. I'm sorry. So let's say you have a press release. Uh, servitude Farming decides to start a chicken uh, raising operation, an egg farm. After that, I would put that on Facebook. And depending on who my target audience was, whether it was consumers of eggs or investors, potential investors, I'm gonna target a certain demographic or population with that press release to make sure that they read it. So that's one way to redistribute it. Another way is to directly email the press release to specific journalists. So journalists now have a breadth of things to write about. Every day content is getting produced online. So it becomes very cumbersome for the journalists to understand where should I pull this data. So sometimes it's good just to directly email that journalist and send them that press release. So for example, back to the, the egg farm example, if I issued that press release, one of the very next things I would do is maybe go to all the farming publications, farming blogs, um, even farming vlogs on YouTube and send them that press release, make sure that they read it, make sure that it's noticed. This strategy can also be done on social media by tagging the right people um, or commenting under the right people's posts. Um, or direct inboxing someone on LinkedIn. But the point of this is to get direct contact to the person that you think will most likely take that story and run with it. So like I said, in the chicken farming example, the egg example, farming publications, other farmers, um, farming influencers, believe it or not, there's people that have vlogs on YouTube that have half a million, a million subscribers that focus on farming. Um, maybe restaurant tour publications, right? Because you want them to buy the eggs. Whatever it may be, you want to directly email that. So the whole point of this video is to make sure that you guys understand that once you guys develop a press release and put it on a newswire, the job isn't done. If you want maximum um, exposure and eyeballs on your press release, you're going to have to put in a little bit of extra work. And that comes from syndicating that press release on your own, which is usually what the newswires used to do. But today, um, I think it's actually better because you can directly target who sees that. Um, so go out there, publish the newswire, and then if you want, well, one another, here's another little hack, another little trick. You can automate some social media posts. So depending on what platforms you're on, like Twitter and Facebook, there's ways to automate those posts to make sure that they go out every three days, five days, 10 days, every month, every other month. This is good because you can kind of use a set it and forget it strategy where you put the press release up and then you just keep redistributing it, maybe adding new hashtags to increase exposure in different um, topic lines or tagging different people to make sure that other people saw it. So try these strategies. If you need help, of course, you can contact us at Servitude Intelligent Relations. We help public and private company clients 
develop their PR strategy, implement their PR strategy, as well as investor relations services, intellectual property, uh, consulting, business planning, and much more. Give us a shout. If you think this video is helpful, share it with somebody and keep on rocking, guys.